sometimes called heat wave. Missing the runway by a country mile, a dragonfly from the ancient age of insects cruises over the fields, crashes through the open window, blunters, blunders into our faces, bats its huge, fragile body against the walls until a smothering towel gives it pause. It whirs back across the meadow, heavy as a freighter. Each morning we rise with foreign insouciance, casting a cursory glance at the unchanging sky, sure of the beat of the sun, but exhausted by the heat of a sleepless night. Electric fans have vanished from the shops. Standpipes are in place on the East Coast. The radio is scaremongering and making promises. The farmers praying and making only hay. The children playing in seas that never were so crowded in August, before or after. The end, when it comes, is not a bang, but small clouds gathering on a horizon long ignored except by sailors and desperate gardeners. Then the gradual slide into normal, damp October. And we go back to scanning the weather forecasts and carrying umbrellas. Be a big Just William fan when I was about 11. Um, and I've written this poem called Longing to be Joan. And you need to know Just William was also 11 and he was a very naughty boy. And, like but, Donald he, Dempsey. but he was loved and he loved a very nice girl. So this is called Longing to be Joan. And so to my blue chair with wings that hold me safe and blinkered from the world, I sink against the worn brocade, grasping my beloved, who lives between cheap red pasteboard covers and grins above his rumpled collar from line drawings on thick pages. I'm in love, all right. Crikey, says Ginger. Oh, Marky nearly caught us that time. And they're calling, searching for me, but I'm far away in Middle England between two world wars. Violet Elizabeth is about to scream and scream and scream till she's thick. And William is proving again that he's the charismatic leader of the gang. Master problem solver, adventurer, fundraiser, and the only boy that can make me laugh aloud. And that's how they find me. Crumbs, says William. Girls, he says. And I'm delightfully, unreasonably, hopelessly in love. Oh,